What's going on, Tiger Tran Clan? Wait, what? Camera? What you doing to me, boy? Dude, I'm so pumped for this episode. Look at this delicious gear that we can craft. Specialist grade. Is there any masterwork in here? No. But look at this gear. Mmm. 48% blunt damage protection. 66% cut resistance versus these things here. 46 versus 38. Dang. That upgrade, though. What? 20% stun. Wow. This... This long coat, man, that stun protection is incredible. Yes, and it, we're, we're missing out on that leg protection. But, man, that's it's so delectable. It's We're, we're going to put it on because I just love it. It's the, the protections for the arms are really good. The chest is really good. Stomach, kind of meh. Does this protect the stomach? Right leg, left leg? No. But this does. Yes. Right? Stomach. 100%. All right. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Ah, man, there's a part of me that likes these long coats more. I mean, the 80% stun resistance, that's next level. But then the fact that it covers your head 25%, your legs, each leg 60%, full arm, full chest coverage. Well, I mean 90% arms, but full chest, full stomach. Ugh, that's, that's amazing, dude. I don't know. Oh, look at this. High grade specialist. We got any masterworks in here? Because I want to couldn't be. Oh, 69% cut resistance. 57 blunt. Dang. Mmm. Starting to make that delicious gear. What's the difference? 69 versus 59 and 57 versus 48. But the penalties are similar. Dang, dude. These masterwork masks. Oh. They look cool too, right? Let's let's zoom in on this lady. Well, I, what I also want to know is who's making our cant number three blades and where the heck are they going? Are they over here? Cant number two. Cant number two. Cant number two. Cant number two. All right. That one might be full. Be as close as one. I'm trying to figure out like if there's a color. All right. We got some refitted ones. We got some cant number twos. Where's our cant number threes though? Oh, here it is. Wait. Mark. Yeah, Mark one. Is that the best we can do? That's probably is Mark is better than uh, Canton, yeah, because it's blue. Wow. All right. Bam. Dang, dude. One point three eight. Mmm. Because that's a multiplier. I think that's what it is. I think that number multiplies whatever your max damage value is based on your strength. I think that's how it calculates it. Because I. I believe that the sword is just your chance to hit. So, like, your skill and sabers is just your chance to hit. Your defense skill is your chance purely to block. Toughness is how much mitigation to your body there is. And here, I could throw the HUD back in, so it kind of makes more sense to you, right? I think he even says it, too. So, you gain experience from being wounded. Yeah, like, this is literally your block. And this one here is your attack speed with light weapons, block speed, uh, cutting damage. And then your strength is max carry weight, blunt weapon damage. Oh, so maybe this just actually, so maybe strength only modifies the blunt portion of a weapon. Interesting. Interesting. But everything else was correct. All right. So let's, ooh, no, because they don't have, there's a part of me, because this is the only head protection a robot could get is with this, because they can't wear a helmet, which is weird. Why can't a robot wear a helmet? It's going to mess with their sensors, mess mess with their fashion sense. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. It's always hilarious to see the gear that, you know, our newbiest noobs have just got. Like, they're rocking the half pants. Terrible. And, and then they go from being, like, using this terrible katana to having one of the best weapons in the game. Crafter claws are still under attack. Wait, what? Oh, no, that's just Flamingo. Flamingo's injured. Kane, bruh. Get here already, man. It's taking you so long. Killing me, Smalls. Are you, like, lighter? Or here. Well, we might as well grab this gear over here. Because, man, we just have so much chest. It's crazy. It's, it's insane to think that as soon as we fill up these chests, dude, with gear, or, or as soon as we built them, it's just they get filled up, like, instantly. Oh, this guy can't even use boots. Walls. But you can use these delicious specialist pants. And I, I guess we, because we, he has a bug race, we actually are going to stick with. Oh, but he can use a helmet, though. That's dope. All right. Get over here, boy. 
You need to get you that delicious helmet. So right now we do have the Tiger Tran Clan rolling off our exploration group. And they are moving to the new ruin that we found to the south. I'm assuming that it's going to have like some of the best stuff because it's towards the edge of the world. And I feel like towards the edge of the world stuff is always the best. All right, we'll throw a specialist grade. I don't think we have any more masterwork. Dang, dude, these things are amazing. I love it. Still getting our skill up. Johnny's good. All right, cool. So everyone at home has pretty decent gear on then. This is great. Fantastic. All right, let's get back to Leroy Jenkins, who is our slowest person and who we have following. All right, we just made it to a new runes. Come on, tell me that there's something here. You guys are not going to troll me again. We've just had such bad luck with finding runes that actually have books in them, which is such a bummer. Like, this entire place is just demolished, right? Are you kidding me? Not one lootable? Wow. And we kind of thought this might have been a thing, right? That this area would have absolutely nothing because it's close-ish. But I thought this would be far enough away. I mean, like, look at it. Drifter's Last is, like, ages away. Abandoned Town. Yeah, that's where we went before. That was the fishing village. Dude, I'm kind of salty. Just a little bit. Do you think there's runes over here? I have no idea. I've never been this far south. To be honest, I think this has been released after I started playing. All right, so we'll do here. Same plan. Bodyguard. Leroy. This guy's still carrying. Did they ever heal this guy, or is he dying? Uh, let's have Tiger get back over here and... First aid. Oh, yeah. Sh Schmatlock is doing the same. Carrying somebody. So they're the slowest bros right now. Wait, who's... Oh, Schmatz is actually carrying Dr. Zill. Okay. Dr. Zill got taken out? No, wait. No, Dr. Zill is carrying Sh Schmatt. Oh... Wait, what? But Schmott's fine. All right. Maybe maybe he's uh, he must have recovered from the fight. Cool. Now this will speed everybody up. Dude, but I love the fact that in our last video, we were able to... Ah, forget this bounty. Just put him down. It's like $1,000. It's like one blade. Not even worth it to us. We're so rich. We don't have time for $1,000, man. I look at $1,000 sitting on the ground, and I just kick it over. I kick it over in the dust, and I say, forget your 1000 cats. No time for that. Wow, I love this biome, though. It's so beautiful. It's so funny how you can see the failed of whatever this is failing over here. I think it's them trying to get maybe cotton or wheat because of the desert factor. You, like de So in the desert... Wheat only has a 60% chance of being harvested, and then cotton actually has a 10% chance. But the reason I actually stuck with the cotton was because they start you with it, and I didn't have hemp. So, or at least I didn't have enough hemp to build my original farm, and I needed to get some cloth online for some beds early on. And it was just painful, so I was like, whoa, what is that? It just looks like a rock formation, but it almost looks kind of like a cave. All right, Leroy, get over there. I, that's just interesting me. I, it might, it's probably absolutely nothing. Wait, what is that? Is it just... It looks like eggs. It is like eggs. Wait, what is this? Is that iron? It's like a really weird iron node? Oh. That's cool looking, though. They do do a really good job with uh, the skins of stuff. All right, let's go this way. Because we've already been to that library. We know there's absolutely nothing there. So we're going to stick close to the coast. Keep our eyes out here for ruins. Yeah, that was that one rune that had nothing in it. Yeah. Yeah, dude, this place has been picked over, which makes sense. It's close to some cities. Oh my gosh, those trees are annihilating my face. Where are you at, Leroy? Thought you guys were moving this way. That was weird. They, like, went down and around. 
All right, let's have Leroy cut this way. See, I don't think there'll be anything of interest right here. I could believe that there's something of interest here. Or even here. But probably not, right? Let's let's actually check. Doesn't hurt anything. And if we could find science books, I'd be all about that life. Loading in the world for the first time. It's very interesting. It's so different from where we are, where so many mountains. I don't think there's anything over here, though. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything here. Probably not, though, right? Dude, this place is like in the middle of nowhere. They've, they've had to have some juicy loot, right? It's like literally on the edge of the universe. Normally, like, that's like video game design, right? You... The further you go out from wherever your starting point is, the more challenging it is, and then usually the better stuff you have. It looks like this is just a dead island over here. Yeah, nothing. Sad face. Bress! You're killing me, smalls, man. You're killing me, man. Alright. So we're going to cut this way, and then we will then cut into to the drift because I think if I think to be honest if we get here we'll see that there's nothing here and then this will be perfect because we'll bop up into here and then we'll cut around this way check out here because I could believe that there's stuff like here the market I wonder if that's world's end so I have never been to world's end but Shamat told me that there was a book vendor there who sells science books and i'd buy science books i don't care how expensive they are we're rich we're so rich you see how much gear we have we got so much gear choking up our ears man wait oh it's garus gosh i just want to capture you garus i just need i guess i just need to install the mod to where we can capture them but we're so far away dude we'd have to carry them across the universe to actually recruit them this load though <laughs> it's just like we'll never stop loading all day all night always loading always chopping oh wow all right looks like we can't rotate this camera without it having an aneurysm at the moment you see the little progress bar on the top right corner it's losing its mind right now it's like i cannot move any faster Loading so much progress. Oh, man. Dude, I had the best sandwich tonight. If you guys ever eat Jimmy John's, oh, I had the gargantuan. That's like my favorite sandwich there. It's so delicious. It's so enormous, though. I can like barely, I can't even like put it in my mouth. Like, <laughs> like eating the gargantuan is like a feat. It's like uses all of your grip strength and all of your mental fortitude just to put that fool in your mouth. Because you have to eat in like like three bites just to get across the diameter. Wait, what is this? I saw some dudes over here. I'm getting obstructed. My vision is obstructed by these bushes. Wait, is that people? Oh, no, it's plants. It's a plants that look like a group of people when it's kind of loaded in. Right? No, wasn't there people? Am I on drugs? I totally look like people. I think I am on drugs, though. All right. Let us continue on with our journeys. Onward to victory. Tiger Tran clan. Dude, how is there nothing over here? You're killing me, Smalls. I know it's the apocalypse. I know things are sparse. But this is ridiculously sparse. This is next level sparse. Wow, okay, there's absolutely nothing over there. Except some rocks. <laughs> we don't need no rocks. Man. Alright, we're, we're going to cut up this way because we're here. Just see, it's high grounds, maybe we can see something. Plus it's nighttime anyways. It's not like we'll be able to... Oh wait, who are those guys? So these actually are legit people. Eh, let's have Leroy move closer, because I think this is hitting our camera limit here. Hello, friends. Or are you friends? 
They're just like a bunch of hobos, dude. They just got like face masks on only. Who are you guys? Slave hunters. Huh. Are these dudes evil? They must be part of the slave force, right? That rock almost looked like an actual building. It's so interesting how they just have dudes just kind of roaming around. I'm surprised we haven't bumped into any camps, though. We have camps set to be like 150%, so there should be a ton of camps. and We haven't run into any, which is kind of surprising. There's no real reason to fight those guys. So let's just have... That's auto-saving, because I can't open my map. I believe in you, game. <laughs> you can do it. All right. We're just going to actually start moving over here. We just got an auto save, so we'll be fine. The one thing I'm mildly spooked by is if it's a United City and they do not like the other races. And we've got a lot of Sheck. And we've got a lot of... Well, I think we have one bug person. The Hives. It'd be so interesting to know what the psychology of the Hive people are. Because they literally are bugs. Like, bugs are, like, one of the most interesting creatures on the planet, you know? Because, like, even lizards, well, they like the, like, even lizards have some ability to be close to other things. Like, they enjoy, like, the heat, right, of, like, a human being. But then there's even, like, snake dens and stuff. Or, like, snakes, they won't bite each other, but they'll, you know, wrap up on each other. What is this? We're fighting. Okay, so there's a big fight going on here. Oh, they got ninja armor. They're samurai. Oh, it's United City people. This is... Oh! Wait, doesn't someone have a bounty? No, that's Quan. Quan has a bounty. Dude, who are you guys fighting? Oh, okay. So the United Cities... We finally found the United Cities. I always thought that maybe there was another name for the the Holy Empire, but it's not. These It's like these samurai bros out here. That's so cool. Samurai Sergeant. Oh my gosh, look at her stats. They're all in the 60s and 1 in 56. Holy balls. Who are these bros? Same? Ooh, Samurai Conscripts. I love that term, Conscript. Oh, look at that, dude. He's got like one of those, uh, what are those things called? I want to call them a Habard, but I don't think they're called Habards. But it's basically like the, uh, you know, the bow staff with the sword on the end, like a sword blade. Those look cool, though. Hmm. Dude, it looks like they're just pwn in face. So we don't, we don't need to monkey with those guys. Let's continue on our way. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are gone. Lay your weary head to rest. Dude, I can't wait. So normally what ends up happening is I can't watch Supernatural. And that's like that song. Like that's like their song, man. And I can't watch Supernatural without watching it on like Netflix. I just can't do one episode at a time. It just makes me sad. I, I'm kind of spoiled now. I think it's I'm, I'm in the age of binge watching to where, you know, I have an Amazon account. Uh, we, let our la we let our Netflix one lapse because what ends up happening is like there's enough. I, I'm very picky in what I watch. And what ends up happening is, like, I can watch Netflix for, like, a month or two, and then I just have to cancel my account because there's nothing left. You know, you, you watch everything good. I love Daredevil. So good. Uh, Luke Cage was decent. Started off great. Slowed down. Love Jessica Jones. Had the psychological element. Started off a bit slow, but Daredevil is by far my favorite. Oh, I really enjoyed... Uh, what's the new one that just came out? Punisher. I just thought the fight scenes were exceptional. I love the psychology of it all. Let's hit save before we go in here, just because I could see some major issues. And to be honest, after this video even, man, we're going to have to restart the game already. It's, it's just like there's something weird. Do you see how long our saves are taking? Like normally, like so let's say we've just been hanging out in our base. Our saves are two seconds maximum, usually like one second. But that literally just took like five to ten seconds. And it's brutal, dude. Blech. Look at this. Look at this performance. Oh my gosh. Kenshi's taking an absolute dumper. Dumperoo. Dumperoo. 
because I've got a pretty solid gaming computer. When I first bought this, it was like fourteen hundred dollars. I got it as a Christmas present for myself uh, after getting a pretty, pretty, pretty sweet contract. And I wrapped that fool up, and I was like, you know what? Got to enjoy life a little bit. Gaming is my major hobby pastime. Well, I like to exercise, like to weightlift, like do martial arts as well. Oh my gosh, Kenshi, are you kidding me, bro? I have you on the slow setting here. Why are you running like you're a Commodore 64, dude? Why are you running like you were a Game Boy? Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Oh, there's a cool bar. I like the city, though. I like the buildings of the United Kingdom. These big cylinder structures. What's this one? Is this? I, I really, we really need to find katanas, man. Oh, look at this. It's got like a uh, peace symbol. It's uh, the dove with the, what is it? Olive branch in its mouth? Yeah, olive branch. Symbol of peace. Let's see here. Holy cow. Are you kidding me? Like, there's a part of me that just almost wants to, like, pause and, like, let the game catch up. But there's no catching up, man. Holy cow. Look at the shenanigans, dude. This is absolute butt cheeks level of performance. Look at this. Look at the delay. I've clicked. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. Okay. Plus probably about three seconds before I started counting. Now Leroy is just finally turning around. Holy cow. All right, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to put some medical supplies on, <laughs> on Kenshi, a.k.a. put it in bed, turn it off, let it sleep. Restart it back up. So that way we can actually enjoy the city in peace and and not feel like we're playing at two frames per second because we pretty much are. It's so brutal. But I, I'm I'm glad that we found the United Cities for once. I'm cool. It's cool that we've explored this southern area, so I mean at least we know there's nothing of value. But hey, that's part of the adventure of this game. You know, you win some, you lose some. And thankfully in our early adventures, man, we were able to find so much delicious gear. That was fantastic. Now it's been a little bit of a drought, but we have been manufacturing boatloads of heavy armor. So once the main crew gets back home, we'll be able to really suit them up with some beast chest and, and headgear. Well, at least headgear. Maybe not chest. I'm hoping we can find like samurai armor or some higher, better heavy armor. Oh, yeah, look at Vegeta dancing the jig over there for me. Thank you, Bo. Thank you for entertaining me. So as I look at this horrendous frame rate, I'm only slightly depressed. <laughs> it's not that bad. All right, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.